in one sitting yeah. unajua saa zingine yeah. wachungaji tunaogopanga kusema ukweli kuhusu sadaka but i came here to tell you the truth about sadaka yeah. ikiwa si kidogo <laughs> ikiwa si kidogo yes what do you do with it na mimi honorable chair naomba pia about this yeah. ita pia wenzangu waulize kanisa lako liko na watu wangapi and what do you do with the offering yeah. because if you ask about new life uliza yule mwingine pia muko na watu wangapi 200 watu wangapi 1000 yeah. tell me what you've done with this offering yeah. hawa watu wakiwa wamekuja watatoa sadaka ambao huenda si kidogo Mm. Some of them are on, online. Yeah. Hii pesa ikiwa imeingia kwa uh, church account. Mm. Na si kidogo. Tumejenga nayo hakuna mfadhili yeyote, mm. mzungu wala mweusi. Hakuna mm. kama yuko ajitokeze. Hakuna mm. njia yote tunapata nayo pesa kutoka kwa mtu ambaye anatuletea pesa kwa njia yoyote. Mm. I can't remember kama nimechukua pesa kwa mkono wa mtu mm. kanisani mavueni. Mm. And I always tell them unajua mahali matibao iko weka sadaka hapo usinilete sababu ukiniletea sadaka inamaanisha unataka nione ndio ni kuombe vizuri. Mm. So they take it there ile ambao wametoa kupitia kwa Mpesa till number wa imeenda hapo I don't normally know who gave what. Mm. So the funding ya new life ni wale wa shirika. Mm. Na kama wako 45,000 people nikisema huwa wanatoa pesa kidogo mimi sitaki kuwa muongo mm. ili uniperekeje la kwa ukweli kuliko kuniacha nje nikidanganya wewe na nidanganye wa shirika ambao wananiamini. Mm. Na hiyo pesa tumeitumia kwa hiyo pamoja na ile ambao ningetamani we play pale. Mm. Na kama utai play hapo, utai play kwa nyumba yako. Please forgive me mm. for that. Then tuipeleke kwa hao watu wa media mm. waonyeshe Kenya na mataifa ya nje. Then ile ambao tumefanya nao because honorable chair. Mm. Through this sadaka mm. tumejenga one of the most modern international schools if not in the region of East Africa in Kenya mm. and we have facilities about some of the international uh, secondary schools azina hapa Kenya mm. i think i'm not sure maybe i'm i've not done my our, my research here we are having we are it is almost 50% complete the only olympic standard swimming pool in Kenya apart from Kasarani mm. it is in Kilifi county kupitia kwa sadaka ya hao washirika mm. ili siku nyingine mkialika international schools as a government na mnataka facility nyingine there is a church ambayo imesaidia serikali kutengeneza facility kama hiyo badala ya kutangaza vile tumetangaza we renovate Kasarani mm. ili tulete Africa Cup of Nations Mm. Unaweza kupeleka international schools huko na wakafanya swimming competition Kasarani na ukapeleka nyingine Kilifi County ama Coast na hizo pesa ambazo zinaingia kupitia kwa uh, competitors and those who are visited. Si zinaingia kwa county government or visitors and whatever. We have uh, one of the most modern labs, IT labs ambazo nafikiria mm. sababu mimi nimesomea tu tuko na labs ambazo huenda haziko kwa university yetu and i would advise you mm. uh, oh, with uh, humility to come and visit them and verify what i'm saying mm. we did this na pesa za washirika among other things we want have one of the best hotels among other things ili apart from church the government the nation and the county county inaweza ku benefit kwa hizi vitu ambavyo tunafanya isiwe isiwe thank you so much isiwe ni pesa ya sadaka imeenda kwa pasta peke yake hmm. 
hakuna any document ya title deed imeandikwa kwa jina la pastor Ezekiel Hmm. apart from maybe two or three vehicles tumejaribu kuziweka kwa jina la church wakaniambia hiyo terminology sijui labda Sami anajua uliniambia ni nini hii ambayo inakata James account inakata sina gari langu mimi sina nyumba yangu hata hii saa receipt yake ni new life hata ile nguo nyingine ambayo unajua nimevaa si unaijua <laughs> Risiti yake ni new life. Ili nihubiri injili, sadaka ya mshirika itumike kwa njia nzuri. Nikimaliza niende zangu. I never came to use church money for personal benefit. I have informed my wife and my children. Nobody will benefit from church money. Nimeanzisha kufuga kuku. Niliambia mke wangu tangu last week pesa za kuku pesa za mayai pesa za whatever zisomeshe watoto wetu we have three hakuna haja ya kutumia pesa za kanisa hmm. we have only three so that is how we have spent money and that is uh, zingine ukiniuliza nitakumbusha we have a dam the only dam ambayo iko Kitifi county na ni kubwa hii dam is a nine and a half acre dam it is full it is well built na imelindwa imezingirwa na fence ili wakati wa drought wakati community imekosa maji wanaweza tunaweza tukafungua waje wachukue maji vile ambavyo tunasomesha watoto wa kilifi over 200 students full scholarship secondary yule mama wa kilifi atatoa maji wapi na maybe county government ili allocate money na haijaijenga drought haipigi ripoti so as a, a church tumetengeneza hizo zote tunafanya farming tumeajiri watu wa Kilifi county everything ambao zingine mkinikumbusha mimi nita yasema number six, number seven, your view on regulation 